All aboard the Kevin Spacey Simulator! Yes, so if you like Kevin Spacey and everyone loves him now, you can play as Kevin Spacey at every level of this train simulator 2018. And boy, is there a lot of Kevin Spacey. You saw Kevin Spacey in New York. You saw Kevin Spacey, the construction worker. Kevin Spacey, the train driver. Kevin Spacey, what was the other one? I don't even remember. The, uh, the coal Every, miner. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Spacey, the coal miner. He likes boys. <laughs> I've been working on the ladies. Oh, That's ladies. what we thought, but he was after the boys, apparently, from this, the latest news. Um, but this game, man, I... Train Simulator yeah, 2018. Yeah, take the last train disorder, as you said. Yep. Yes. One does not simply walk yeah. into disorder. And it feels like the load times are crazy. Like, I, I took notes throughout this, and it's like, the load, like, the frames per second on the load screen, it goes from, like, 9 frames per second, then bumps up to, like, 40 to 45, and it's like, oh, it's gotta be finished soon. Still another 40 seconds loading, it yeah, feels like. Yeah, this after is, like, that. the longest load time ever. Uh, this is like one of those very complicated games. And it's funny because when we started, when we started this game, we didn't know any of the buttons because we skipped the academy. We just thought, hey, we can try. Train. Yeah, but it's like one the best. Of those very complex the best train. simulation games. Yes, it's. So, anyways, you were hitting the buttons, and we found the yeah. camera button, and like, and Nick was like, I'm hiding, and then like you twirled your head around, <laughs> at 360 like an owl, as you said. You were the hoot hoot conductor. And uh, what else do I have here? Yeah, an alpha engineer. It's like, it's a genius idea though. Because they, they come out at night so they can, you know, drive the trains at night. And, and but you the, kept switching the, the camera too. That was the other thing. Yeah, like you were hiding. Cameras. It looked like you were hiding under the train. Then you were hiding, like, you're like, I'm not driving this train tonight and you like Look, suddenly no appeared man. yeah you suddenly appeared in the passenger seats and I'm like what the heck's going on yeah and then like, suddenly appeared above the train I'm like okay that makes more sense than hiding on the passenger seats and then uh, what were the other perspectives there, there was like a perspective where you're just standing on like one of the stations as they're seeing the train pass yeah <laughs> I don't know and then you like start to zoom out in through the trees yeah and it's like I'm coming to get you all. And, and at one point when you were playing the game, you actually zoomed into the cockpit <laughs> of the train. And it looks like... And um, you saw the conductor. Ed Sh Sheeran, or uh, who was it, the other conductor? Le Liam ne Neeson. Yeah. It looks like a young ne Liam Neeson from like early, early 90s, you know, Liam Neeson. Yeah, I think this is like one of the Lost Speed movies. <laughs> yeah, you said where's Kendra Reeves when you need him. Like but Speed 2.5, like Chain of Memory. I think normally this game is one of those crazy games that you buy the basic set, you get some tracks, you get an idea of what the game's like. It's like $30, $40. I got it on sale for 8 and I still feel like, in my opinion, I feel like we didn't really get our $8 worth. Um, and I can explain why. Yeah. We're not huge train enthusiasts. We're not obsessed with trains, but we, we're, we're willing to give it a shot. And we were going along at like 40 kilometers, like just to get the momentum of 40 kilometers an hour, it was, at one it was point, painful. Yeah, and at one point the train just suddenly stopped. Yeah, like th that happened to me too. Like when I kept going, I got went up to 64 kilometers an hour. I'm like, okay, finally we're moving somewhere. And it's like speeding, speeding, alert, speeding. And it's like... Okay, yeah, I'm speeding, but I'm having a good time, so it's okay. Yeah. And <laughs> then the train just inexplicably starts to slow down, and you saw that going from like 64 to 50 to 45 yeah. to 40, and then it was like 35. I'm like, this is way too slow. Like. Yeah, because and I just realized that his brakes were on, and he didn't even activate it. The simulator... Yeah, was it was weird. It's like... Is it because they think that the train's been hijacked? Like, what's going on here? Like, why is this doing this? Maybe there's a dead man switch. Yeah, maybe, maybe the conductor's like, they're dead now. <laughs> 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 We're gonna stop that train somehow. I got a button. Hit the button. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Instead of blo exciting explosion, it's just like the train slows down. Yeah. So you've been fired. Yeah. So the train simulator game has actual scenarios. Um, there's that. There's like one scenario where you're driving. You have to drive a train from point A to point B. Pick up passengers at point A, point B. 
and then drive the point. It took us like 15 minutes to actually start moving. So we even saw a train go by. It was like, and they were honking us like, doot, doot. And it's like, yes, we don't know what we're doing, but don't rub it in. Yeah. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, as a game for shits and giggles, this will it's, basically it's, be like... It's not like the transport game we played. Um, it's like five, it's six just like, minutes. It's a cold version of that where like you can't hit the trucks you want to run over, like Farm Simulator, which we did. Even that didn't knock them out of the way in a fun, amusing way. It just pushed them aside. Like instead of like... <laughs> It was just like, sorry, sorry, out of the way, I'm a train, I need to knock you out of the way, Van. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, this is, to me, this is too realistic for me. Like, if it was an F-35 fighter plane, sure, I would be cool with that. You know, at least I can fire missiles and blow stuff up. But this train simulator is like, for, peop for accountants, pretty much. It's for people that don't want to have anything beyond what is the absolute ultra-realistic train simulator. Which is definitely where it is. I recommend this only for the train enthusiasts. This you have to be extreme train enthusiast because I just feel like nothing happens. You're finally getting going fast and then the train slows down and you're told you're speeding. And yeah, it's not like you get to crash into uh, Morty like we did in European tr train simulator or whatever it was. European truck simulator. Yes, truck simulator. Like it wasn't even like that. It, it's just, you know, I mean, they just stare blankly at you, like, dude, yeah. I gotta deliver my truck stuff. So, yes, I. If you are a train enthusiast, even if you're not a novice, I say get this game. Yeah. But, but you have to, you have to go for the academy. I have to recommend the academy because. But even then, like as I said, like it just feels like, ah, uh, it just feels like. This could be, this has potential to be more exciting, I feel. Well, like, well, I, most simulators do follow the simulator part. To yeah, I know, but still, like, I feel like it, it could have been interesting. It could have been more something, like Some, something different. Some, sometimes you got to sacrifice fun for realism. Yeah, well... Then there's tracks that are like ten to fifteen dollars each, maybe thirty dollars for expansions. And I'm thinking, like, after playing this, like originally I thought, hey, it'd be cool to get all the expansions, you know, cost only a grand to two grand without a sale. And now it's like, wow, I paid eight bucks, and even eight bucks, I felt like I got gypped out of. Yeah, it. there's a ton of DLC from yeah. what Jim has told me countless mm -hmm. times. Like, you can go to different parts of Europe and. Like, not even that, but also trains, like, I don't know, parts. I just feel like the background, it feels like this is a generic city, this is a generic place, like, it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm actually in France, so, uh, you know, that's Germany. what it feels like to me, yeah, it just feels like, oh, I buy this expansion, but it will look the same as what, or, like, similar enough to where, like, I only need to spend the $8, I really don't need to spend 2000 yeah, that's why I feel like. So I think our final trip. ratings probably gonna be around six or seven. I'd say six or seven. You know, Kevin Spacey's. It's kind of like the downfall uh, of Kevin Spacey. Like and he's in this game to help promote, to get money because he can't do House of Cards anymore. I don't know. That sounds mean, but it's weird because the guy really looks like a bit like Kevin Spacey meets the guy from um, Breaking Down. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, um, sorry. Bad. I think I know what you're talking about. Yes, um, what's Wal his name? Walter White is his kid. Yes, he looks like Walter White meets Kevin Spacey, so like maybe he's on the run. Brian Cranston. Yeah, there you go, Brian Cranston. So, anyways, I think that's getting along, so you yeah. have anything else? Well, I'm going to check out. I'm going to get my ticket, and I'm going to hitch a train to the next game. To Kevin Spacey Land. Keep on game. Bye.